Morning everyone and what we're going to be looking at today is how to calculate our correlation coefficient or on the Casio FX85 GT Plus, the older style version of the Casio calculators. So if we have this version of the calculator we can calculate our correlation coefficient or which represents the relationship between two pieces of bivariant data. Remember, bivariant data is two pieces of data collected together to presume a relationship between the two. Okay, so what we're going to do today is find our correlation coefficient to see whether we describe the correlation as positive, negative, strong or weak. So to start off today, what I need to do is start by pressing the on button to turn on the calculator. Then I'm going to press mode and press 2 for stat, 2 for statistics. Okay. Then I'm going to press 2 for a plus bx, which will give me a table with x and y. Now, whatever variable is on the x axis on your scatter graph is going to be typed into the x column, and whatever quantity is on your y axis on your scatter graph is going to be typed into the y column. I can see that because the height is consistently increasing, that will be on my x axis, so I'm going to type that into my x column here. So we have 150, and then we press equals to move down the column. 152 equals, 155 equals, 158 equals, 160 equals, 163 equals, 165 equals, 170 equals, and 175 equals. And now I can see I have nine pieces of data, so I'm happy because that matches the nine pieces of data that I have in my table. So now I'm going to use the navigation key between alpha and mode to press across and press up to get back to the top of the table so that I'm on row 1 with 150 in my height column and now I'm going to type in my weight so we have 57 equals 62 equals to move down the column 63 equals 64 equals 58 equals 62 equals 65 equals 66 equals and 70 equals which I can see now again, I have 9 in both columns, so I know I've effectively used the table. So now to find the standard deviation, the next thing we're going to do is press the AC button, which is going to get rid of the table, but we're not going to panic. It's still there. Then we're going to press Shift and 1 to get our statistics options here. We're going to press 4 for, or, sorry, we're going to press 5 for regression calculation. I pressed 4. Apologies, so I'm going to go again, press shift and 1, press 5 for regression calculation, then we're going to press 3, which will appear with an OR on the screen, which we know is our constant for our co correlation coefficient. And we're going to press equals, which gives me a 0 0.79. It's a positive correlation because it's a positive number, which means that both are increasing. And 0 0.79 is very close to 1, which means that it's a strong positive correlation, which means as my height increases, my weight increases proportionally. Okay? To get rid of this, I'm going to press AC again. If I wanted to get more about the data, I could press 1 in statistic and 4 for variable. I could press 2 to get my mean, which is X with a little hat here. I could press 3 to get my standard deviation. Okay? So now I'm going to press AC and to turn off my statistic mode, I'm going to press shift, mode and one and one to turn it, sorry, mode and one to turn it off. OK, thanks very much, guys. And make sure that we're practicing how to use our calculators to find these quantities in statistics. Thanks, guys. Bye now.